Hey everyone! Today we are diving deep into building a layers management system in our Fabrics.js Canvas application using React. I will explain the key components and how they work together. Managing layers, setting IDs, updating the Z-index and more. So what exactly is a layer management system? Layers are simple objects stuck on top of one another and with this system, you can easily move, select and reorder those layers, giving you much more control over your canvas. First, to manage the layers, we need to keep track of which layer exists and which one is currently selected. In React, we use state variables for this. Here, we define two states, layers and selected layer. The layer state holds an array of all objects or layers currently on the canvas. The selected layer keeps track of which layer the user has selected on the canvas. Next, we need a way to uniquely identify each object. We use the add ID to object function to assign a unique ID to each object when it's added to the canvas. The ID is created by combining the object type, like rect for rectangle or circle for a circle, with a timestamp to make sure it's always unique. Next, set index. If you ever work with layers in Photoshop or Figma, you know that the Z index determines which objects are in front and which are behind. In Fabrics.js, objects don't have a built in Z index property, so we have to create a custom one. The following function loops through every object on the canvas and assigns a Z index based on its position in the stack. The first object has a Z index of 0, and each object above it gets a higher Z index. We might not want all objects to appear in the layers list. For instance, if an object is a part of the grid or guidelines, we can exclude it from the list by filtering them out in the update layers function. This function updates the layers by first filtering out any objects that starts with the ID vertical or horizontal, which could be a grid lines or other non-interactive elements. Then it creates an array of objects that includes the ID, Z index and type and finally, reverses the order so the topmost objects are displayed first in the list. So, how do we know when to update the layers list? We use React's useFX hook. This hook watches for changes in the canvas and triggers the update layers function whenever an object is added, removed, or modified. We also want to keep track of which layer is currently selected. The handle object selected function updates the selected layer state whenever an object is selected. Whenever you select an object on the canvas, this function checks if the object exists and updates selected layer with the object's ID. If no object is selected, it clears the selection. We are also listening for when an object is selected, so we can highlight it in both the list and on the canvas. Finally, we want to be able to select layers directly from the list. The Select Layer in Canvas function allows us to activate a layer by clicking on it in the list. This function finds the corresponding object on the canvas by its ID and sets it as the active object, allowing you to interact with it. Now, let's integrate the Layers List component into the main application. This is simple. We just need to pass the canvas object as a prop to the layers list component. Here's how we do it. We initialize the Fabrics.js canvas and then pass it as a prop to the layers list component, allowing to interact with the canvas and manage the layers. And that's it! You've just built a fully functional layer management system for your Fabrics.js application. You can now select and deselect layers like in professional design tools. In the second part, I will walk you through how to move layers up or down directly from the layers panel. This sets the foundation for adding more advanced features later on, like hiding, locking or renaming layers to improve overall visibility and control. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more.